Malcolm always has ambitious projects going on. Here, for example, he's digging through the latest academic papers and findings in advanced quantum mechanics, all with the intent to contribute to these publications. Respect. Usually, Malcolm has a question for us, but I think I'll cut straight to the chase. Malcolm? Yes? Any questions related to our industry that you have of late? Sure. I may have asked this before in one form or another, but for the sake of simplicity and considering I am about to counter one of the most complex arguments surrounding quantum mechanics, here goes. What does it take to secure a safe and affordable water supply for future generations? Hmm? Great question, Malcolm. We have a nice practical example for you to illustrate our solution. These players in the Czech Republic enjoy a bottle of fresh drinking water after a hard and tiring match. But it wasn't always easy to get pure and high quality water in this particular region. See, when their portable water treatment plant became severely outdated a few years ago, quality output suffered and the region's water supply was compromised. But with the revamping of the plant with partner Andritz Separation and this state-of-the-art sea press, the plant is now able to treat more than 2,500 cubic meters of potable water per day. And with minimal sludge production, low maintenance, and full remote off-site monitoring in nearby Yichin, the region enjoys a renewal in water supply. For the local population, this means better, more reliable, and more cost-efficient drinking water for generations to come. I would say that's a solid solution to your question, Malcolm. Thoughts? I've always been impressed with the screw velocity of the sea press adjusting automatically to the feed fluctuation. Beautiful. Thanks, Malcolm. I see you know your sea presses presses. You never fail to impress. Well, good job, Malcolm. Back to work and goodbye.